take a, a violent person and turn them into a peaceful person. Take a violent criminal and turn them into someone who was shut down in the face of extreme violence. And to do that, they use hypnotism, behavior, modica behavior modification, etc. Okay? Well, they failed. But that was the objective of the movie. To turn a violent person into a peaceful person who was shut down in the face of ex you know, extreme violence. Well, so this, this technology, trauma-based mind control, is the exact opposite of the movie Clockwork Orange. It's a weapon system. It's designed to turn the trauma-based mind control victim, the mind control victim, into a weapon who will inflict destruction and damage upon others or his community or who, will, or who himself will self-destruct, okay? So, they take, in this case, they do the exact opposite of the movie Clock of Hearts. They take a good person and turn him into a bad person. Or they take a bad person and turn him into an evil person. The objective is to turn you into a weapon to cause you to inflict destruction upon others or to self-destruct. That's why they go after your family members, okay? I remember I talked about influence mapping and the negative associate conditioning earlier. Now those are some of the tactics that they use. It's so, a multi-jurisdictional task force, it's what it's called. It, it's it's um, an organization that's created through public-private partnerships with the military, law enforcement, universities, um, citizen groups, uh, public uh, corporations, small businesses, right through the communities. And it's, it's called, if you look up multi-jurisdictional task forces, you'll see it's unions, and they can pull together people w in an instant. Through fusion centers, mm -hmm. and if you look in your communities under um, your your local county, if you look under your county and look under public-private partnership, you'll notice that your law enforcement and your banks and your large corporations, they're forming nonprofit organizations. And that's how they're all networking. It's just incredible how they're, and it's just recently that they're forming these partnerships, and they're growing and growing, and they're networking, and and just pulling together people who will do these things. Not and not everybody in these corporations will know about this. Not everybody in law enforcement, but it's so because it's so compartmentalized. But but they're pulling together these public-private partnerships, and. It, it, when you look in your c county, each county has one. You will see all the people, all the members. Look at your members in there, and you'll you'll go, oh my gosh! And you'll see all your perpetrators: your bank, your grocery store, your plumber, your, everybody who has something to do with something that's happening to you is in there. Law enforcement, but you, we have. I keep telling people the easiest thing we can do is start at the local level and that's with law enforcement because they are every day being negligent and doing um, purposeful things to us every single day of our lives. The CIA has already been embarrassed after former employee Edward Snowden leaked classified information which revealed top secret global surveillance programs. He now lives in exile in Russia under threat of prosecution in the US. Okay. I'm your handler. I was assigned to you five years ago. I'm, I'm My handler. Please understand. I'm, 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 I'm CIA, okay? But mm, you're listen to me. You're it's okay. I've been trying to tell you this for so One, fucking long. Are you not? Are you not my girlfriend? Of course I'm your girlfriend, babe. That's what I'm. That's what I'm telling you. No. No, no please stop it. No, I can't even look at.